Hey, since Splatoon 3 is releasing tomorrow, I guess I would do an unboxing here for the new Inkling Girl. This is one of the two new ones that have a new Inkling boy as well. I always did like the Inkling Girl Amiibo, but uh, there was one for Smash and there was the original one. But I never seem to get my hands on it, but I do like this new one because it is in the neon pink here. Packaging is pretty standard. You have uh, the inkling on the front, the amiibo figure, and in the back it tells you if you use this with Splatoon 2 actually, you do get special in-game gear. So let me go ahead and unbox this and I'll show you what that looks like. Now that the inkling girls unbox, you can kind of see that it's actually pretty detailed. You can see all the way down to the grip of her ink pistols here. I know she's dual wielding. You'll see the ink pack below. I'm going to put it on the spinner now and we can see all three angles. The ink is coming out of the ground and that's going to give it a very nice unique look. Kind of like dynamic ink as well. The ink carton is full so we are expecting uh, her to like just take off and be in this action pose. I do have my Octoling amiibos in the back and we'll take a look at how it compares. But overall, I do like this amiibo. Um, I think the neon blue on her shoes really stand out. The green on the pistol stand out. You can see her bracelet on her right hand. And uh, even her hair goes down from uh, pink to purple there at the edge. There's She's wearing multiple layers, giving that streetwear for the inkling. So overall, I do think this amiibo is worth it. I did wish that they came out a little bit sooner. For Splatoon 2 but it's just right in time for Splatoon 3. Hopefully you do get something special from Splatoon 3. Let me know what you guys think and happy release date guys. Take care.